One of my favorite tools to use in my business is Descript. The reason I love it is because it's literally an all-in-one tool that my team uses for so many different things, everything from editing our videos to generating transcripts for our course lessons. You can do so many other things with Descript as well, like creating slide deck presentations using their layouts and templates, record audio and video, publish your content directly on your platform, and more. They also have Descript AI, which gives you access to powerful AI capabilities that can save you a ton of time and effort in your creation process. So today we're talking all about how to use Descript from square one. And with that, I'm gonna hand it over to my team member and Descript expert, Claudia, to walk you through it. Hey everyone, it's Claudia from Team Hayes. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through Descript, a powerful and beginner-friendly tool for editing audio and video, just like a text document. Whether you're creating podcasts, YouTube videos, or voiceovers, Descript makes the process incredibly easy. And if you're interested in using Descript, we have a link in the description box below that will allow you to try it out for free. Now let's dive in. If you haven't already, go ahead and download Descript and install it from Descript.com. When you open Descript, you'll see the project dashboard. This is where all of your projects will be stored. You'll also see some other useful tabs on the left, with the main ones being the Learn from Descript tab. This is full of helpful tutorials straight from Descript, so if you run into any issues, you might can pop over here and find a solution. And you have your Drive workspace. This is where all of your content is saved in Descript's Drive and can be organized into folders for easy access. To start a new project, click right up here at the top right hand corner, new project. You'll have a few different options to choose from, including video project for uploading or recording videos, audio project just for audio, a quick recording, and record with others if you want to bring in other speakers. For this example, I'll be choosing video project. Once I'm inside my project, I can either upload a file directly from my device, paste a video link, record directly, inside of Descript, write an AI speech, or import from Zoom. For this, I'm gonna upload a video file that I would like to turn into content for social media. So I'm just gonna grab that file directly from my downloads on my computer. I can either click here and bring up the file directly from my downloads, or I can drag and drop it. Once you bring your file over, it will prompt you to select the number of speakers and their names. This is really only relevant if you're editing a video with multiple speakers. Because there is just one speaker in this video, I will leave it as is and select done. You should be able to see at the top here the percentage of what's been transcribed so far. It will also keep you updated on the activity down here at the bottom. So now that the file has been uploaded, Descript has automatically transcribed the audio into text. This is one of the most powerful features because you can edit your content just like editing a Word document. You can make corrections as needed by clicking on any word and editing it manually. Once the transcription is ready, you'll see it appear here in the editor. You can go ahead and change your title here if needed by clicking the text at the top of the transcript. Descript has many powerful AI tools to help speed up your editing process. Those can be found here within the Underlord, which is Descript's AI assistant. I really like Descript's AI features because they do a good job with supporting you in your process without completely taking over. But before we get into that, I wanna first show you how you can easily edit your video manually using the transcript and timeline. So Descript functions a lot like editing a text document. If I highlight and delete a sentence that I don't want, it will be removed not only from my transcript Script, but also from the video. You can also use the ignore media function here found in the menu that appears when I highlight text. This will basically make Descript ignore a part of your video by striking through it without fully deleting it. This is helpful in case you change your mind and would like to add it back in later. I do recommend using this over just deleting text because it is much easier to recover. I can simply come back up here and unstrike it. Other functions found within this menu include a shortcut to the AI assistant, an add scene button that will separate out scenes in your video for things like adding B-roll or other features, the correct button for correcting words that maybe were misunderstood or misspelled, the regenerate button which allows you to heal the audio to change words without re-recording if you accidentally said the wrong thing. This does require you to add a speaker voice to your Descript account that can be done using your own voice. Then there's also a drop down menu here under the ignore media button that gives you some other options like delete media, replace with a gap or remove from transcript. Some other noteworthy buttons here on the menu would be the highlight color and the comment button, which can be really helpful for editing, especially if you have an assistant or multiple people working on a project. Okay, so moving on, I wanna mention that there are also several keyboard shortcuts that can be used. They do vary a bit between devices, but the most common ones that are useful that are the same on Macs and PCs are the correct shortcut. You can quickly correct text by holding down the C button and clicking on the word that you want to correct. So you can adjust the word itself or the spelling or even add in a word or two if the transcribe missed something. Once you do this, you can hit correct or if you're finding this is a common error made throughout the whole transcript, you can select correct all. That tool will then show you all the different times that error or word appears in your transcript 
and allows you to correct the ones that are needed. You can hold down the Z button on your keyboard to quickly adjust the beginning letter of a word to be uppercase or lowercase. You can hold down the X button to switch or add a comma or a period. You can click an area in the transcript that you would like to separate into a scene and press the forward slash button on your keyboard. That will then add this little icon here with the forward slash. And as you can see here on the left hand side, it adds another scene. And you can also click Command Z at the same time to undo something. You can press the space bar to pause or play your video or audio file, or you can select that here at the bottom with the play or pause button. Another thing I wanna point out is these areas where you see several dots. These are areas in your video where there is silence. These can be easily deleted manually by highlighting the area and clicking delete on your keyboard. It can also be done by selecting the area in the timeline and removing there. So if you come down to the bottom left of your screen, you should see where it says show timeline. You can click that and it will bring up your timeline at the bottom of the screen. This is very similar to a traditional video editor and you can see here on the timeline where there are points of silence. I can easily remove this by using the blade tool and then clicking on each end of the section that I want to remove. From there I can hover my mouse until the drag icon appears and shorten the section to the length that I want it to be or I can click back on the select tool, click the section, and click delete on my keyboard. Another option would be to use the AI tool within the underlord section called shorten word gaps. This will use AI to identify the gaps in your video or audio file and automatically remove them based on the settings you enter here in this menu. It will show you every single gap that's in the video that's set to your parameters and allow you to edit and remove the ones that are not needed. So that pretty much covers the main functions needed for basic manual editing. You can absolutely create amazing content in a breeze with just those tools. We won't go into the full depths of Descript's AI tools. However, I do just want to quickly show you around this side of the panel here on the right to help you get familiar and we will go more in depth in a future video. So within the Underlord tab, which is the AI assistant you'll find several options here for quickly editing content. This includes options for sound quality, removing filler words, removing mistakes, shortening word gaps, like I mentioned before, and overall making your project more concise. Again, I can really appreciate that these AI functions are more collaborative with the editor, allowing you to customize your experience through the settings. For example, in the Edit Clarity tool, you can customize this by intensity and scroll through the suggested edits. So for this example, I'll set it to a low intensity, and here I can see all the suggested edits that the AI assistant makes for me, and these are all just areas that might help the video or the audio file be a bit more concise and to the point. This is helpful if you have a lot of filler words or maybe you're trying to shorten down your video while still getting the point across. You can select the check mark if you want to accept the edit or hit the X mark to discard it. This is something you'll have to play around with to adjust what intensity level you like for your project. Some other noteworthy AI functions include the eye contact tool that allow you to adjust the subject's eyes, the green screen tool for editing backgrounds, the blur speaker background, which helps keep the focus on the subject. Descript also has great tools for breaking apart long form content into short form for reels or YouTube shorts in this repurposed section. You can create clips, create a highlight reel. You can use the tool to find highlights for interesting parts. It also has a translate tool to help your content reach a wider audience if needed and several other tools that are useful with publishing and writing copy for content. Some other tabs in this right-hand menu that I want to point out today are the elements section where you can add things like titles or text, elements such as shapes, dynamic text like timers, waveforms, progress bars, animations, overlays, and different designs to your videos. When using these tools, you may want to divide up your video into scenes like I showed before with the forward slash button to select a certain part of the video you want to add the elements on. For example, if I want to add a title, I will select the scene at the beginning of the video to add the title to. So as you can see here, I have one scene marker here and I have another one here. That's marking this whole separate scene as its own and this begins the next one. I could continue doing that throughout my project to create as many scenes and separations as I like. So if I wanna add the title to this scene, I just need to click on the scene I'm adding it to and then come over here to the right in the elements tab and select title. From here, I can edit it to say what I want, change the color, change the font size, and add different effects and animations as well over here on the right side menu. Once I've added my title, I should see that it only appears within the first scene of the video and disappears once that new scene starts. Coming back to the right hand menu, I can also come over here to the captions section and add captions to my video. I can customize these by changing out the colors 
fonts, sizing, and different effects here in this menu. Those should then play throughout my entire video. But again, if I want it to appear different in a different scene, I can edit that as well. I can also come over here to the stock section. And here is where Descript has a wide variety of stock videos and audio files to add to my content. This is a great place to find B-roll for your YouTube videos or reels. Again, I would just need to break up my video into scenes and either drag the stock video I would like to use from Descript's library over to the selected scene, or I can bring in my own b-roll from my device. In the stock video you can search, you can click the video and bring it onto your scene and then adjust it to fit the format that you're using. This will then play during your content while the audio file is still playing and as long as you have another scene set up it will pop up again back on your subject. Once your project is finished you can come up here to the right hand corner and click on publish and from here you can either publish the video directly to YouTube or export it to your device's hard drive. I would recommend just going ahead and exporting it. You can do this here by clicking on export and selecting the file you would like to download. For this example, I will click on video, but there are other options here depending on what you need, including an audio file, GIF, timeline, just the transcript, or an SRT file for creating subtitles. Once you have the settings you want in place for your download, you'll click export and be good to go. And with that being said, that covers our beginner Descript tutorial. There's so much more that you can do with Descript but these functions should definitely help you get started with editing your content with ease. If you found this video helpful and want to support our channel, check the description box below for our link to give Descript a try for free. Mm -hmm.